in the words of NBA great Michael Jordan. The game is my wife. It demands loyalty and responsibility, and it gives me back fulfillment and peace. These are the words of a legend. But how would it differ if it came from two college athletes who have a different viewpoint on the same game? This is a game of minutes. When the season first started, I was I felt that I wasn't getting the playing time that I deserved. But I really didn't pout. I'm not a, a type of player that would pout. So I really I worked hard every day and tried to prove the coach that I should be playing, and just try to make them think about it. You know, I might have worked hard, but at the end of the day, it was, to me, it was all about winning. And I think one of the things that was good that he and I would have individual conversation about his role for the team, and to to give an honest evaluation of what he's doing right now. And I think because of that, he was able to, to figure out ways to help the team outside of shooting the basketball. Steve is a young man who came in, and, and his job for us was to, to, to be a scorer, to shoot the basketball. He's been doing it all his life. Um, he came in last year and got some very good looks. And, and didn't have the season that you know he and I both wish he would have had. But the thing I like about him the most is that his character, his character really stepped up this, this senior year. Steve actually played who 30 40 minutes a game last year. So he had every opportunity to accomplish his goals if there were any goals selfish for him. In your own words, how would you define success? Success to me is uh, setting a goal for yourself and going out and reaching and achieving your goal. Before I came to Spring Hill, uh, I was considered, I was probably considered like one of the best, the best players or shooters from the area that I came from. And I hadn't had much adversity, you know. We always won, won championship. Uh, highly ranked player, had a lot of accolades. So when I came here, I wanted to just blossom and prove to everybody that that, that was the type of player I was. But when I came here, that didn't happen. I've, I've had some pretty good games here, but I had a lot of adversity. We all have had to face adversity at some point in our lives. It's just how we chose to deal with them that molds us into the people that we are. And even if you don't come out, you could, even if you don't play that, play the way that you think you should, you still may have opened some doors up through other ways just because of how hard you play. Once you humble yourself, a lot of more doors are open up for you rather than the doors for you being a great player. It's, it's a lot more going to just being a great player. You gotta have to be a great player off and on the court, the way you handle yourself, the way you talk to people. His character really stepped up this, this senior year. and. Um, and he, and he didn't get selfish. He didn't, he didn't worry about himself and, and not doing things to make him look like a great player. He started focusing on his teammates and, and being a leader on and off the floor. You know, so his character really exemplified itself um, for our team. And, and I'm so grateful and blessed that you know that that was um, that was that was him. You know, Charles, another great young man who understands it's not just about him; it's about others. He's a kid, I think, gonna be a great leader for Spring Hill College and ambassador for the program and the institution. Um, both guys, I think, come from great families, great family values, and they understand what it means to give back to others. And, and I'm, I'm so grateful to have those guys in our program. Sometimes in life, we tend to get lost or lose sight of what it is that we want to gain. I think people get lost because of the people they're surrounded by. You need someone there to, you know, guide you when you're doing wrong, tell you when you're doing it wrong. And that's when I think being successful is easier because people who, who want the same things as you aren't going to allow you to let yourself step too far out of bounds. I was going to try to make sure that you're in check and that everything's screwed on. It was a point in the season where they weren't getting as much playing time. How do you think Charles handled that? You know, Charles wasn't playing his best. And he and I had a good conversation after practice. And I, and I challenged him, I asked him, do you, do you really love basketball? Do you really care about um, what you're doing? Because if so, you know, it's, it's not about you. You're not, you're not playing at the level you played last year in your mind. At first, at first it was frustrating, you know, just because my season was pretty good last year. It, it took me pretty low. And, I, you know, I spent a lot of time just thinking to myself, what I needed to do to get better, to get on the court. And I think that really helped me. I really I really think I do a pretty good job understanding the players today because I got an advantage. I played college basketball. 
And like most kids at that age, I was a little selfish. I, I understand it was more, but in my mind, it was about me, how many points I scored, and how 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 excited can I get the crowd to roar and you know and call your name. And what did you do to increase your playing time? Spent a lot of time with coach, looking for what he wanted in me when I'm out there, so I can be as productive as I can and help the team. Because of his character and the type of person he is, he evaluated himself, and I thought the last part of the season played tremendously well for us. Um, Start being what I call the athlete, this gift that God has given him, playing hard, very athletic, jumping and running. And he started doing those things and realized that he could help the team. As a player, not only do you learn the game, but it teaches you life lessons as well. It's a sport that, that teaches you how to deal with adversity in a lot of ways, you know, not playing or getting better, you know, stepping yourself up, stepping up your level of play, just like being in the real world, you know. Sometimes you're going to be down, you have to get over it, suck it up and get better. Yeah, I'm, almost... I'm really close to my family. I talk to my mom, dad every day for about an hour. I tell her before I do anything, I tell her after I do it, outcome. And she's always in my mind. And any of my frustrations come. She's always always there for me whenever I need it. She's she she sends me inspirational Bible verses every day. And we meditate on it and I feel like that's why we're so close, because we're close in our religion and any relationship has up and downs, but we've always been fairly close. Um, it got it got a lot stronger during during my middle school years when I started going through a lot of stuff, you know, just normal growing up. And I really that's that, that was really the point where I, I discovered that I could talk to her about anything. You know, it took me a while. I was in a shell, you know, stuff that I didn't think parents would understand. And once I finally let loose, and it didn't turn out the way that every little kid thinks it will, that parents will understand, but she seemed to, that's when I think we got a lot closer. Um, I want my little brothers to see that I'm striving to be something. And I feel like he, he looks up to me a lot, and that's with any younger sibling. They, he's always looking at me for direction. And, He's gonna mimic anything that I do, and I feel that when he sees me trying in school, trying in basketball, trying in everything I do, that he's gonna try to mimic it. And that's ultimately gonna help him out. I'm trying to be a great role model for him. Your success is ultimately what you put into it. You have to work, you have to do everything that everyone else doesn't want to do. Go practice when all your friends are hanging out or, you know, stay up and study the game, watch games, mimic players, and then your success will come. I can get our guys just to understand it's not about you, it's about others, and everything you do in life, all your action has consequences on other people. If they can take that and grow with that, you know, I'm, I'm well pleased and satisfied that I've done, done my job. This is a game of minutes.